Hey guys, it's Fox here with another video, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we progressed through Great Bay Temple. I was about to say Woodfall Temple. Yeah, wrong place. Anyway, um, we progressed through Great Bay Temple just a bit more, along with defeating the first sub-boss and gaining the Ice Arrows, which is the dungeon item for Great Bay. And this episode, we're just going to be doing more of the dungeon. Simple as that. Um, so anyway, there's actually something I wanted to explain, but this, it just kind of brought me in here. Um, being that, if you noticed, well, what we want to do is come over here, first of all, and, um, if you noticed, see how that red pipe is flowing water? That is a hint of where you want to go next. So, if you remember at the very end of the last episode, we triggered that red pipe back in the other room. So, to know where you want to go next, you want to follow the pipe that you just triggered, if that makes any sense. And, um, if once you understand that concept, this temple really isn't that bad. So, just, when you trigger a pipe, follow the flow. So, um, anyway, so now that we're in this room, where we found the dungeon map, we're going to hook that over here just like we did before. But this time, now that we have the ice arrows, we can make our way over to this door. So, there is one use for the ice arrows that we haven't seen yet, which is if you take them and go down and shoot the water, it creates hexagonal platforms. Hooray, I love hexagonal platforms. Yeah, so anyway, um, it's pretty cool. It, like I said in in the uh, the last episode, ice arrows really weren't used for any of this fancy stuff in Ocarina of Time, so it's cool that they are here. Now, this is a blue choo-choo. It doesn't really have inside of it. It's really just a blob of water. That water part gives you a hint because, well, we have ice arrows now, which is frozen water. And if th this is a blob of water, then that means we can turn it to ice. So what we're using it now for is simply just a platform to get up. And you don't have to get it close to this spot. You can still, once it's frozen, you can still push it around if you really have to. But, yeah. Here's a bomb chew. A real bomb true, I guess I should say. And I don't know what Tattle's trying to target, but okay. Anyway, um, so let's go ahead and um, not push that, pull it. And so then you'll see that the flow of water is going to spread over to that uh, other pipe, as you can see there. So, like I was just explaining, we're going to look at that pipe on the right hand side watch it and we're going to see that it heads down to that corridor so that means that's where we need to head next again I mean it's kind of it may be a complicated concept the way I'm explaining it but once you understand it really it's just almost like a just like a quest marker almost it's just like showing you the direction you're supposed to go and that's something you could have been following for, not since the beginning of the temple, but since like one of the first rooms. Alright, so now that we're back here, um, we can do a bit more stuff now that we have our ice arrows. So, as you can see, it is showing us to go down there, but since we do have the ice arrows, that means we can also get into that corridor. So, we're going to do just that, just make a little detour from where the game's telling us to go. Because there is something very important over here. Um, well, that was meant to hit. There we go. You know, I have to say, something about this dungeon, like, especially in that room we were just in... Sorry, I got interrupted for a second. Um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, something about that room, like, th that room over here, it just, if you just look at it, it's just, and all the pipes and the mechanics, it just really shows how technologically advanced Termina was compared to Hyrule, and I, I really like that actually. It kind of reminds me of the Asura from Guild Wars 2. Anyway, so, um, here we have a familiar face. It's this guy again from Woodfall Temple. Except I do have to say, while it is the same boss technically, this battle is completely different because instead of riding a snapper turtle or whatever they're called, um, he has these bubbles. So basically what I want to do is shoot him with an ice arrow or just any arrow when he's down on the ground and he will get in this giant blob and
and apparently he will attack you if you get too close to him. So try to stay not just away from that shadow, but far away, because when that when that gel goo thing slime goes on the ground, and apparently it smashes you too once you do that. Oh, whatever. Um, just shoot him again. Ugh. Despite how terrible I'm doing so far, I actually really do like this boss fight. Uh, oh, what I was saying is that when he jumps down like that, the the slime spreads further than you think. So make sure you're quite a way, bit, or quite a bit away from him. And then once he's like this, just shoot him. Simple as that. It's really, it's not a difficult boss fight. Just you know, just not repetitive. It's just. It's just, it's just a boss fight, okay? I don't know what to say. By the way, that animation I just think is so cool, especially for N64 standards. It's just, I don't know, I like it. Of the, the jelly going up. I don't know what I'm... I've called it jelly, I've called it goo, I've called it slime, I don't know what it is. Are there no hearts in any of these? Apparently, oh. Really? Really? Alright, well, that's fine. Just... I do find that attack kind of funny, though. I mean, just looking at him. I don't know. That one was close. Oh. Apparently, you can't freeze it while it's in the animation. Wow. Okay, so he has to be on the ceiling when you're freezing it. Oh yeah, also he'll pick up things, but doesn't matter anymore. And oh look, what do you know? There is our fifth frog of the things we did uh, a couple episodes ago. Got a whole bunch of those frogs. So, um, let's go talk to him. Well, I think I need to put my Don Guerrero mask on, actually. Now let's talk to him. Ah, Don Guerrero, it's been so long. What has brought you all this way? Could it be? Has spring finally come to the mountains? That look, it is true. Winter was so long that I began to lose all hope. I understand. I shall head for the mountains immediately. So that's the fifth and final frog for that quest. So once we get out of this temple, we will uh, complete that quest and get the prize by heading back to Snowhead, uh, or the, just the mountain village place. Anyway, so as you can see, the door. Well. I, I'm looking for health right now, which I don't see any health, so whatever. But um, the door we came in through is locked, so this is our only way out. Of which, there is a chest, which it's no surprise what's in this chest, because it's so flashy, and there's only one thing in these flashy chests. We got the boss key! However, this does not yet mean that we are close to the end of the dungeon. In fact, we're about halfway. Now, uh, we could jump down here and backtrack our way, to the beginning, but since we are heading to one of the first rooms, I'm just gonna play the Song of Soaring, which I don't, I think, or I don't think that we've done this before yet in this Let's Play. So basically, if you play the Song of Soaring in a dungeon, it'll actually teleport you to the entrance of the dungeon. Yes. Now something that's kind of worth mentioning, it's kind of funny, that um, I was watching Chugga Conway play this game, and something he mentioned, so I just want to credit him for the, the story. Um, Prima Strategy Guides is kind of notorious for being inaccurate. Like, I grew up using them, well, just Strategy Guides in general, I did have a lot of Prima, and they just, they weren't always the best, I, you should say. So, in the guide for this temple, they suggested going back to the beginning of the temple, use, but they didn't say to use the Song of Soaring. They said to use the Song of Time. Yeah, so basically what the guide was saying is that, oh, okay, you're halfway through the temple. Why don't you reset time and warp back to Clock Town so you have to redo everything over again? That's essentially what the guide was telling you to do, which is, yeah, obviously not correct, and that was a fail. <sighs> Anyway, I just thought that was kind of something funny, worth sharing. And if I could get on the platform... Just... 
maybe. Oh, by the way, that water wheel up there, that's what controls the direction of the washing machine room. And so what we're trying to do right now is completely reverse the direction. So as you can see, this um, yellow one is pushing in that direction. So what we want to do is activate that red one over on the far end. Oh, Mikau! Why do you dive head first? Anyway, we want to try to activate that red one so that way it'll reverse. But I'll explain once we get to a better view of it. And if... Why do you... Is diving the only way you know how to jump? No! 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 You're not... That's not what I want to... Wow, okay. Sure. Let's just climb up back up here. What was that? What was that? Oh my... I'm just having bad luck here, aren't I? Okay, Mikau, don't freaking... Okay. I'm gonna wait for this. To go up? And to go down. Now I jump. Thank you for not diving. Ugh. Anyway, as I was saying, um, we can see that the water flow is going to that platform. However, it's not going through it, so we need to activate it. So that way, it'll change the rotation of the wheel. So, we need our hook shot to get over there. There is the thing that we're trying to activate. And so we want to... There's no way we can jump up there, so we need to get our hook shot and shot over there. Shot over there? Is that how he's... Or whatever. Hook shot over there. And then just turn this thing. Now, luckily, this is not really a tedious job like it would be in the Water Temple. Easily, Nintendo could have made it where you have to turn the... Uh, uh, washing machine room back and forth in direction. Luckily, you don't have to in this case. You only have to turn it once, so this is the only time we're going to be doing this. However, they could have easily made it a process of doing it several times. Um, but I think they just... They've already had bad experience or bad fan experiences with water temples, so I think they wanted to make this one complicated, but not necessarily tedious, like the original water temple. Which, by the way, the Water Temple in Ocarina of Time really isn't... I mean, it's tedious, but it's not complicated. And, I mean, it's not as hard as people say it is. I mean, this one, this is a hard... Now, this is a pretty difficult temple, you know? Great Bay is... I mean, people agree that, but people are always complaining about the Water Temple and freaking Ocarina of Time. It's not that difficult. Anyway, uh, there's actually something I forgot to do. Uh, well, I didn't forget to do it, but I could have done it a bit earlier. And we want to come over here, and we want to step on one of the fans of the washing machine. This, if you, I guess you would call it a fan, yeah. And then climb up here. And as you can see, there's this waterfall here that's blocking us from getting into this ladder. So, we want to take out our ice arrows, and... If we shoot this, it actually does the exact opposite of what we would expect it to do. Instead of blocking our passage, it opens it. Yeah, I expected it to just freeze the waterfall so we couldn't, still couldn't get there, but apparently not. Um, if we look up, there, see, you can see that there's that yellow one, and there's also a green one that we have not yet done yet. That green one is going to lead to some rooms, some of the newer rooms. In fact, I think both of the new rooms... Um, of the new, I'm saying new a lot, of the new direction for the uh, washing machine room. And as you can see, there's the opening over there. And, um, I really can't talk today, can I? <laughs> what, basically what I'm trying to get to is that we're just about to start up the green pipe from the beginning. And the green pipe is probably one of the most important pipes in this temple because it's actually what's going to allow us to get into the boss room. So from now on, we need to make sure that we're following the green pipe. And this is the room where we're just going to turn it on. As you can see over there. Oh, that must have hurt. Now, I'm, 
I, I, I was just kind of, like, I was just thinking for a second that, you know, I haven't actually seen any great fairies for a while. Not fairies, great fairies, stray fairies. And, um, yeah, that's true, we haven't seen any for a while. There's actually some in this room, there's some up here that I'm going to get to next. So, technically we could leave this room at this point, but since we are going for 100%, we need to make sure to get all the stray fairies, so... We're going to do just that, and can I climb back up? Yeah, I can. Okay. So we want to come over to this corner and take out our hookshot, and I think maybe I can... No, I need to go a bit further. Alright, so we need a hookshot up here, onto the ceiling. There we go, and there is a chest in the middle. I wonder what's in here. Oh, yay, our ninth stray fairy. So we could just jump down, but there is a free red ruby right there, so why not just get it? Well, I guess if you don't see it, you can't get it. Anyway, so now that our washing machine is in a going in a new direction, that means that there are two new rooms we can go to. So we will head to one of them. Um, we can go up that one there, which is where we're supposed to go, and there's also that one there to the left. But we're going through the... Maybe we're going through that one. Oh, there we go. Alright. Very good. There's some Dexy hands there. And I am having trouble getting through here. Okay, mines. Yeah. Alright, so anyway. Uh, we made it to New Room, and we've been... We've made quite a bit of progress in this episode, so I think I'm going to go ahead and leave it off here. So... In the next episode of Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, we may finish the temple. I'm not 100% sure, but we're kind of almost done, so we may finish it. So, yeah. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.